Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com, the underground sure dog, all you guys out there with UFC's Tony Ferguson. How's it going, sir? Good. How you doing, man? I'm great. It's uh, interesting to see you here today. Uh, what are you doing at RFA? Uh, supporting uh, Team Reigns, Nick Jordan. He's uh, going to be fighting. I forget the guy's name, but uh, he's uh, over here just making sure he's on weight and uh, big support for him. Okay, guys, RFA, which has kind of become the unofficial feeder system of the UFC, is on tomorrow night on Access TV, so check it out. And um, what's been going on with you? We haven't seen anyone. I've been taking it easy, you know, vacationing, you know, just kind of living life, getting fat. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, it was awesome for a while. Now, actually, uh, coming off of uh, my loss versus Michael Johnson, I broke my ulna, and it, uh, if you guys are medical terms, I had a non-union. So I had a second surgery, had a plate about that big, so like the full length it of the forearm. It broke all the way across from yeah. where it broke? It broke right here. Boom, we're a big old butt. Oh, Bang. wow. So I was checking a kick. And the guy threw it, and I fought the whole entire second and third round with a broken arm. Uh, I thought it was like a football injury where it just turned cold and I could fight through it. Uh, unfortunately, it was broke. Long story short, uh, I'm fighting Mike Rio October 19th on a different yeah. note. So I'm all healed, and so uh, you better watch out. Stronger than <laughs> Strong now? Yeah, no, I got like a Wolverine claw. All right, so you started You started as a wrestler, right? Yes, sir. So I started as a wrestler. Wait, is there a steel plate in there or titanium There's or what? There's a steel plate in here, so it goes off when I get checked at the whatchamacallit. Hold. This shit legal? Watch. You, you, that's like adamantium. Fuck, I'm, I'm man. Fight, I'm fighting the Wolverines, so I can't say it's a Wolverine. The commission club. doesn't mind about that? Are you nah. going to left over with a hell out of people? Yeah, I'm going to now. My <laughs> You're going to get a plum clay chip and let go and start firing them off? Dr. Kessler's at over at OC Fight Docs is saying all the time, he's like, you can use that now. He's like, uh, if you get through the pain, you just kind of just bite through it. He's like, you got a plate in there. It ain't moving. Guys, I felt it. It was hard and it kind of reverberated the energy. I, I, need, uh, I need to look into this, uh, you know, kind of futuristic cyborg stuff. Maybe that's the future of ultimate fighting. Um, I want to get talk to you about your background, but you started as a wrestler? I started as a wrestler, yep, in Michigan. I uh, moved from California when I was younger to Michigan. I uh, started in the clinic, moved up to middle school, high school, uh, college, and then just been competing since then. What college did you go to? I went to Grand Valley State University. Okay, I applied there. I'm from Michigan yeah. myself. I ended up going to MSU. But they have cool. a great football program, and all the guys in the sports programs, they were always competing at national levels, and so it was really good to have that tier to look up at and try to get to that level. Now, mostly, you've, you've become a guy known for your boxing. I mean, great hands, long reach. Uh, t talk to me about what we were talking about earlier, cutting the angles and looking for the openings. Uh, yeah, boxing just came to in, like, in one hand for me. Uh, it was just, just like in wrestling, when you're setting up your takedowns, you're going for your jab, it's just like a head tap. You know, you have your snap downs, your high crotch situations, different angles if you know what I'm talking about in wrestling lingo. Uh, in boxing, what do you do is you close your hand, right? And you have wrestling and boxing are kind of hand in hand. You can mix in those angles, but you don't want to get caught with knees and stuff. So it had a lot to go in hand with learning how to protect my face. So it's been a step-by-step -step process, but I've worked very hard. One thing is one guy told me, he's like, I was shadow boxing after practice. He's like, your shadow boxing sucks. And it was not in those kind of words. And I was like, oh, oh. I went to the drawing board. And since then, I just made it my own to make it good. Nice. That's, that's great, man. It's really technical. I think you're going to go far again. Uh, it's interesting to find out about that injury in the fight. I didn't know that. Um, Nobody did. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got to give you huge props for going single leg attempt, going for the rolling Uma Plata. Okay. That, yeah, that with Eve Edwards, cool. right? Yeah, it was just a reaction before the fight. I actually had a hunch that I knew that if he was going to get an underhook on me in a situation, he was going to get to single leg. So as soon as he got in the single leg, just situation, boom, hit it in practice. That's yeah. awesome. I got, I got a bunch of videos on that. I put them out right after your fight. Um, and, uh, you know, Gil Castillo hit that years ago in the IFC. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool move, and I think people find you exciting. It was awesome. You know, there's going to be plenty more to come on that. Remember, uh, UFC 166 versus Mike Rio. Going to be hitting a lot more rolling omoplatas, flying stuff, you know. Pick yeah, up a, talk to me about where you've been training your jiu-jitsu and MMA game. Uh, I've been doing training home gym at Rain Training Center uh, with Mark Munoz, his head coach. Uh, doing awesome Monday through Friday there. And then at night, I've been going to 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, uh, working on it. Just got my purple belt uh, not too long ago. Congrats. Thank you very much. It was a big accomplishment for me. Uh, but it's one of those styles that uh, is able to go with my no-gi wrestling style and, and freestyle. It's interesting backwards. for sure. I got my purple under Eddie as well. I'm a brown under Gokar now. So Yeah, it's interesting. But it's, it's awesome. I like how... I become a student and I don't know everything anymore. So that's what it's about. My new camp, Rain and 10th Planet, and you know, I might pick up somebody else, but it's about, you know, making it new. Hey, while we're on this subject, uh, Chael Sonnen guys fighting in the UFC this Saturday, FS1 and FS2 are launching. Uh, Chael's down there now, right? Yep, Chael's over there. He's training uh, all the time over there. Uh, I haven't seen him in the last week because fight week, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, we wish him luck and I hope he kicks him. All right, guys, I'm Dan the Wolfman. Go to ProMMANow.com for all your information. Subscribe to our YouTube page at DanTheWolfman1 and hit up the combat system.com. Thanks. Thank you, guys.